Loop quantum gravity links quantum mechanics and general relativity into a theoretical framework that unites the four fundamental forces. It is an attempt to develop a quantum theory of gravity based directly on Einstein's geometrical formulation. To do this, in loop quantum gravity, space and time are quantized in the same way that energy and momentum are quantized in quantum mechanics. In this way, loop quantum gravity is very similar to the theory explained in these videos that explain an emergent process with an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon or quanter by quanter. But instead of having finite loops, we have a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The great advantage spherical geometry has over finite loops is that the interior of a sphere is naturally three-dimensional. Also, the two-dimensional surface of the sphere can form a dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition for the use of the holographic principle. With the inner concave surface representing negative charge and the outer convex surface representing positive charge. All the advantages of finite loops can be maintained in a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking with an emergent future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. The Planck constant is a constant of action or a constant of minimum distance in the dynamic geometry that forms what we see and feel as the passage of time. But in quantum loop gravity, there is a problem, and it is the problem of time. In theoretical physics, the problem of time is a conceptual conflict between general relativity and quantum mechanics, in that quantum mechanics regards the flow of time as a universal absolute. All measurements of observables are made at certain points in time, and probabilities are only assigned to such measurements. But general relativity regards the flow of time as relative and dynamic. Gravity is a manifestation of space-time geometry. Matter reacts with space-time in the sense that space-time tells matter how to move, and matter tells space-time how to curve. In the theory explained in these videos, there is no such problem, because photon energy slows the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation. Mass will increase relative to this, and the time dilation of relativity will be seen at the largest scale as an ever-expanding universe. My next video is going to be about loop quantum cosmology and how it differs from the ideas of these videos. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.